Today, we're going to talk about maintenance, repair, and overhaul. And how do we solve a lot of common issues in the, in the maintenance, repair, and overhaul shop, or MRO shop? And not just any MRO, but MRO of complex products, products like aircraft, products that have lots of levels of sub-assemblies that need to be taken apart, put back together. There's a lot of complex problems. There's many dimensions to these problems and I can get really frustrated just thinking how do we, how do we improve this process? How do we get our customers more involved in the process? How do we make sure that we have accountability for all our requirements? And those requirements might inclu include uh, the product models, the specifications, the maintenance manuals. How do we get the customers improve, involved in our uh, approval processes? How do we connect our equipment into the equation? How do we make sure that our equipment is calibrated? How do we make sure that our process standards are enforced so that we, are, we have repeatable processes and that we can have consistent cost in our MRO processes. How, how do we get our new workforce trained so that we don't repeat those old mistakes again and again? How do we make sure that we get our parts on time at the right place. Maybe we need to involve our suppliers more into the process to make sure that not only they arrive on time but on quality, that they're already inspected so that we don't find surprises when we go to install a part. How do we make sure that at the end of the process we can deliver a maintenance manifest along with the product, a complete one, and not take days to put that together for the customer. All of these problems are problems that we should be able to solve with the right solution. And I have an idea. I know how we're going to take care of these problems. After all, here at iBaseT, we make solutions for maintenance, repair, and overhaul. And we're going to talk about how, by threading solutions from PLM, ERP, and iBaseT's maintenance execution, we can take care of all these areas of concern. That's what we're going to do next. Okay, so we're back and we're going to talk now about the solution to those issues that we found at the MRO shop by talking about a digital thread for maintenance, repair, and overhaul. And we're going to move through this solution map and we're going to start from requirements to planning and scheduling to executing the maintenance task and delivering the product to the customer, back to the customer, okay? As we go along, I'm going to highlight solutions from PLM, from iBaseD, and from ERP that are going to form this digital thread. I'm going to show you how we thread them together. Okay? The next stage we're going to talk about is requirements management. So in requirements management, we start with product design, and then we move to the asset configuration, the service bomb, the models, and the maintenance manuals. All these form our basis for our requirements for maintenance. So we need to do requirement management and fold all these into our task planning. And task planning is going to then feed into the next phase. The detailed plan of how we're going to do the maintenance is going to include all the parts, all the resources needed to do the maintenance, and all the sequence of all the detailed maintenance tasks. Now, that, all that task planning we did in Salumina and all that detailed task plan fed requirements into scheduling and parts management. And that 
Parts management is going to provide that accuracy of getting the parts in the right place at the right time. Now information for planning and scheduling is going to be only as good as the data that comes into it. So the integration of all these systems, of all these requirements and the detailed task plans is very important to the accuracy of our parts management. Now we get our parts there on time, but are they the right quality? What we need to do is make sure that we involve the supplier and that we bring in iBasedD's supplier quality management. And that's going to ensure that we are checking the quality of the parts before we go and assemble them. We're going to check it either in receiving inspection or all the way at the source. With iBasedD's supplier quality, we can use our two-way portal with our supplier to maintain all the uh, communications needed to manage the supplier at the source or at receiving. Either way, we want, we want to do it way before it's time to install that part. We're getting the parts in with the right quality at the right time for our task execution. All our task planning that we did, our detailed task planning, goes into our task execution to provide workforce guidance. That's what's going to make sure that our new workforce is doing that task right every time. Not only can we provide the traditional work instructions through terminals, but now they have these cool smart glasses that are just like safety glasses and you can have augmented reality and see what's going on in the aircraft. You can lay the uh, digital on top of the physical. Uh, so we're, we're also working on that. There's some neat stuff happening in this connected world. And if we are connecting all the equipment, then we can actually do data collection straight from the equipment. So you can have our data collection be manual or automated through our um, connected uh, gauges, through our connected robots that are doing inspection on the aircraft. And if they find a crack, on the product, guess what? We need to take care of that crack. That crack that we found needs to be taken care of. So we have additional process control called over and above resolution. So when we find a defect and uh, that was not part of the plan, that we, when we found an issue that is not part of the maintenance plan that requires additional scope, we need a way to include and exclude additional work scope. And th that additional work scope maybe needs approval from the customer. And we're going to do that through our customer portal. And our customer portal is going to allow us to surface that over and above work to make sure that the customer is not surprised when they get the bill. That's very important. And at the end of this whole process, we need to make sure that uh, all the maintenance we've been executing, all that data has been captured into a service data package. And that service data package is going to produce our service records that we're going to deliver along with the product. So the product is going to be delivered with a digital image, um, digital data, uh, XML package of everything we did on that product, all the maintenance that was executed in the product and that data, the maintenance data needs to travel with the product in this digital thread. And it needs to go back also and provide feedback to our scheduling and our design, maybe even our product design for ideas for improvement of a product design. But definitely back to scheduling because the more accurate the data that goes into our planning and scheduling, the more accurate that our predictions for the future maintenance is going to be. And this is in summary how we have taken care of all these eight areas of concern we had with the digital threat for MRL. Piece of cake. I hope you enjoyed that quick presentation on the MRO digital threat. It was just a high-level overview, so you are going to want more information on our MRO solutions and 
our manufacturing execution solution. So please visit our resources at our ibc.com website. We're constantly adding resources there for you. Here are some examples of uh, ebooks and white papers we have there. And please stay tuned for more whiteboard presentations to come.